everyone, and welcome to part 36 of our Banished Colonial Charters Let's Play with me, JTA, and the other guy, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Uh, let's continue. So, we've been having problems when it comes to tools, and it's been getting worse better than it gets bad. So, what we need is more wood, so let's just harvest as much wood as possible because the wood is a problem this guy just needs more logs there's problems with logs etc etc it means we're not going to produce as many tools etc etc bad bad mm, yeah that's the problem we're having right now and that is meaning we're getting less and less tools and less and less firewood so we need to somehow increase our blog production which is what I'm doing here just needs to be built now. And then we're going to halt construction overall for a while. But luckily we're not having any food problem and no one is actually dying, which is amazing. Amazing that no one's actually dying. It just means we're having problems when it comes to tool making. That means production is bad, but that's it. Trade has been replaced, our reserve of logs is low ish. I'm sure, yeah, I'm adding roads here, so that means people can walk a lot faster. But yeah. Just hopefully soon we're going to be a lot better when it comes to tools and that means we're not going to have as much tool problems. Reserve of logs is low again. Sorry I'm playing about my pen. That is not a good thing. I'm just letting it simulate so that means we can get more and more tools. But that's all we can do right now. Just wait a second until they start producing a lot more tools really. Hopefully they will soon. Uh, physician died. Uh, is this built yet? Yes it is. It means we need more forestry people overall. But that's fine. now which is actually upsetting more of our tool production but we have now got 10 tools which is pretty good as well. Our hunter died of old age, more students are being created, more tools are being created and then going away straight away as we've got 50 people without tools, or nearly 50 at least. And now we've got decent wood production and firewood production and everything like that production is going well ish this guy's getting a lot more stuff done compared to this guy over here actually it's probably the same but that's going to slowly stop the uh, tool production from being desperately bad Now it's getting a lot better. Yay! It's actually starting to be fine now. It's going to near winter and we don't really have any firewood, but hopefully the extra logs we got can turn into firewood easily. Uh, four, uh, fuel refiners died. They have been replaced. Labourers died of old age. Luckily no one's dying of anything like heat problems or food problems, like no one's dying from anything like that. But now our um, tool production is really going, coming along rather well. We do have some houses, I don't have any firewood, but that's all because our logging camps are still being pretty old. Oh that's why, that's turning into lumber, I want to be firewood please. 
We need more firewood more than anything else. Okay, let's turn it back down to five. Uh, and we've got more laborers, more children, etc, etc. It's very, very good. Right now. Uh, tools is low again. Let's cut down some more wood over here. now so as we can get a lot more wood stockpile and stop worrying about it so much that's run out of coal but we've got so much furnished fuel that it doesn't actually matter if we don't have any coal and now we're having a good stockpile of tools now it's not as bad as a problem anymore or as much as a problem. So yeah, we've actually started to develop a stockpile now, as not uh, as we don't have any people missing tools anymore. So yeah, that is a good thing. Yay! No more problems. We can now finally relax. Well, when the firewood situation has also been dealt with. It may take some time as well. Definitely when it's winter. But luckily this um this forest lodge here has really helped us get the wood we need. starting to get a good amount of firewood, I don't know why they're just not picking it up and then putting it in their own house. A bit weird. And now I'm getting Facebook comments instead of Facebook messages, but it's alright. getting a lot more children being born now. Tools is low, but we have got two tall people, so it shouldn't be that bad of a problem. Okay, uh, probably leather. Of course it is. Of course it's leather. Have we only been ordered to get leather or something? No, we just always get the guy that does leather and nothing else. I'm not going to build any more houses because 41 children is enough. And it's keeping our population stable, maybe increasing it slightly. Okay, what's this guy do? Ooh, lots of different seeds. I'm looking for wheat seeds. Let's order... Wheat seeds... Wheat seeds, yeah. Just once. Yeah. So hopefully he will come and get us some wheat seeds. I want that to be able to make the um, water mill or some mills and then make bread. Because that will help us a lot. So yeah, we're actually doing decent now. No problems at all. Our firewood production is going up there once more. Uh, it was probably all because it was winter and that was a problem. Our farmer died of old age. That's alright. Let's uh, don't need any builders. Let's move the builders to labourers. I mean, it's exactly the same thing. They're just different names. When there's nothing being built, the builders become laborers, so it's alright. Ah, 
Yes, let's um, collect all of the iron from here and collect all of the stone from here. So that means we can be a little bit more productive over there with the amount of trees we can produce. Okay, we've got uh, six laborers, that's a good amount. Seven laborers. I am going to put in one more stone house. Stone house and place it there next to all of the farms. Yeah, now we're doing pretty decent now. Pretty decent. And of course I'm tired. <laughs> Because I'm extremely tired. Uh, tools is low. Uh, Woodcutter died of old age. And Zerf tools is low again. We may need to get a third tool guy. Maybe. Or well, maybe we need to step up, step up production for iron. How much iron ore have we got? Three. Ah, that's why. Another stone cap, please. Oops. We're going to get more iron ore, more iron ore means we can get more iron overall, more iron means more tools, etc, etc, win-win, really. And we're getting problems with tools once more. Okay, let's put in one more tool guy. Blacksmith. There and then I'd rather place them over here. No, oh, that's that would be such a good area. There, that would be a good place. to be spaced out all across the village which is why I placed the blacksmith here so that means that can feed into that that one can feed there and then that one can feed there and then everyone can from any part of town can pretty much get the tools that they want so we're getting more people dying of old age but with the labourers are easily there to get them or to continue their work really tools are slow once more I think we always get tool problems when the farmers start doing their work because then they have to use their tools a little bit more you know but at least it isn't something like oh no we're running out of food etc etc I think we need a uh, bigger than just small line smelter. I think we need a melting house or something. Or like a metal smith or just not the small one. Crates or for mine or this one. This is what we need a forge. Or something like that. And a forge could be there. I mean, that, that could be a perfect place to put it, but then this, we need a stockpile for, um, so stockpile for iron ore. Or like just a normal stockpile would be better. Maybe like there. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got another trading post area. Sending lever to us again, no thank you. And we're actually harvesting all of the uh, stuff, which is amazing. got a good amount of firewood as well so you don't need to worry about firewood don't need to worry about wood overall just need to worry about the iron which is the smelting problem so I need more log stone and lumber we do have lumber left don't we at least I hope we do yeah we got loads of lumber how much furnace fuel and uh, not that many Let's make it our firewood now. We've got a bunch of firewood, it'll be fine. Okay, so we've got... Oh, it's food limit now. We've gone past the food limit. So we're getting a forge all because we're getting um, iron problems and the iron problems is making tool problems. But we've got uh, food now, lots and lots and lots of food. So that should not be a problem at all. Can, can you guys go to here maybe? Where are you working instead and getting something to eat? Okay. Not actually building anything. Cool. Oh, they're starting to build here. But only one bit. Okay. I mean, iron's still being produced, but it's going to be produced a little slower here instead of the forge. The forge will help us a lot to be able to get the um, iron that we need. Okay, we've got a farmer dying of old age, but that is alright. And there's another Facebook comment, don't worry. More people are becoming students instead of uh, children. I think I'm going to be popping down a stone house, but that is going to be less of a priority compared to this big thing. Uh, iron's low now, which is why we're getting the forge. Leather, no thank you, don't need any leather. Was that us? Oh, that's us. Cool. I thought that was them, to be honest. And that is um, another Facebook comment. I'm being very popular lately. <laughs> Only lately, though. Just more people I'm building until we get the forge running up. Or up and running. Why is stone going here instead of going to this stockpile here, which is just reserved for stone? I don't know anymore. I mean, all the iron ore is going here, which is a haunt our point. But still. Okay, we're now having a bit of fire problems, so let's go back to coal. Just leave it there for a while. It's going to take a while until this guy is built, really. No one's going to build the house until that is being completed. Let's just 
keep it like that, really. Unless it be built. Okay, and time is up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also, check out all of the social media in the home page of my channel. And also, check out all of uh, Grand Strategy Nerds. Uh, social media links are in the description for his and that is it thank you guys and goodbye